Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the series of building Wayne's guitar out of a 1953 Michigan license plate. We're going to call this one Thin to Win. Thin to Win. And um, this episode is kind of a Cinderella story. Now, it could be about a dude that actually auditioned for the band Cinderella, was offered the spot as the drummer, and then decided, I'm not wearing makeup, and I'm not doing the Dolly Parton hair, so forget this. Instead, this is a Cinderella story about a little piece of wood and how it can help you immensely. Now, I've come a really, really long ways from my first guitar, which was a kit. Look at that headstock. That's about the sorriest thing ever. I've come a long ways between this one and my most recent junk pile contraption, Bob the Junk Pile Archtop. And yeah, you will see this occasionally come on the stage with Bob Log the Third. So out of the plethora of lessons I've learned the hard way, I think the most difficult one of all was not having the headstock the right thickness and getting the guitar done and putting on the hardware and finding out that the headstock is too thick and your tuner is just barely turtle heading above, you like that term, turtle heading? above the headstock barely enough to see it much less put strings on and that leaves you trying to reduce the thickness of the headstock after the fact so today we're going to take a little piece of wood and i'm going to show you how to make sure that never happens again let's get to the bench okay guys let's get to work what we're doing here is we're going to build a neck now for Wayne's 1953 Michigan license plate. We did an episode on how to build a box for an oversized license plate like this or this one from 1932 Mississippi that you're coveting right now. I'm praying for you. I'm lighting a candle. Anyway, I'm going to give you a link to an episode right about there, right about now, on how to build this here fancy box. Anyway, Wayne's guitar is going to have a homemade neck, and we are going to use for the headstock what's called blue Mahoey wood. You see that? You see that? This stuff's got some really interesting grain, and you can make some hobby trinkets like this one. here yeah look at it it's awesome i'm just gonna use this for the shot for the front end of the video that's why we're taking so long anyway this wood is pretty thick how thick well too thick to be a headstock so here's the problem this is the stock thickness if I put the tuner on there, you see there's not much room there. So, if I leave it like this, what's going to happen is I'm going to get the guitar together. The headstock is going to be pitched forward, and it'll be virtually impossible to take some thickness off. So, where's the pointer? You all know the Texas junk pile. You've coveted it before. And we're going to use the headstock of the Texas junk pile as a modal on how to build a gauge so you can get your headstock stock cut down to the right thickness every time without fail so see the difference here lots sticking up there same amount as there versus this so 
let's take a couple minutes and build something that's really easy to build that you can just slip over wood while you're running it through a planer and you're going to see us watch a planer you all want a planer i know it so you can covet mine but we're gonna take this blue mahoe wood and plane it down to the right thickness to make an awesome awesome neck for again wayne's 1953 michigan license plate guitar all right there's a couple ways to do this you can want to use one of these fancy slider things here and you can put your finger here and you can push this down until you feel it on your finger and that gives you what you need right there you see that works every time or you can take one of these fancy gadgets this slides up and down like this see this and you can just put it on there and slide it down until it's snug once it's snug that is the measurement you will need okay now we're going to take the measurement we have made with the caliper and we're going to measure the distance between this opening right here and we're going to take our ruler and we're going to say it's seven and 56 97th one thousandths and 0.4 or we're just going to flip it over and go okay that is 14 millimeters half of 14 is seven we've taken a scrap piece of wood that is 26 millimeters across we found the center by marking 23 on both ends my isn't that easy and then come off that center line seven and seven equals our 14 we've marked down enough where this is going to create a gap now we're going to go to the bandsaw and we're going to cut this part out right here and we're going to drill a hole right here watch me now Okay, listen carefully. We are going to drill a hole here. Don't listen carefully. Now watch carefully because I'm trying to protect your hearing. Okay, this part should be obvious. You're asking yourself, what is the hole there for? Well, it's pretty simple. You get some chick flick teal leather thong material. No. Come on, really, guys? And you cut it with chick flicked heel scissors. And then, using your oil field skills, your rigging skills, you tie that off, you slip that through the hole, and then you run this back through itself, and you've got this handy hanging leather thong. Yeah, that's the meaning of thong. That's where it came from. Anyway, you can hang it on the wall after you've painted this. Yes, chick flick teal. All right, here we go. We have put the guitar that we're using as a modal for this episode, the Texas Junk Pile, up, back up on the bench, and we are going to test out our new scrap apparatus template here to make sure that Ooh, look at that. It's perfect. Now, I want to show you the before on the piece of blue Mahoe wood. Remember the blue Mahoe wood? The, the cool pattern. Ooh, ah. The problem with the blue Mahoe wood is that it is too thick. And you know what they say, 
make it thin, you will win. Make it thick, lose your, yeah, this much wood. That's the way that rhyme ended. Anyway, so we're going to take a planer and we're going to plane this down using said thickness gauge with chick flick teal. That would make a killer Christmas ornament, wouldn't it? Anyway, we're going to plane this down. Now, I've given you an episode one time about using planers and getting the right thickness. It's right up there right about now. Click on that eye. But within that episode, we learned that even though we can get two pieces headstocks out of this, we don't want to cut it in half and plane it because you're not supposed to plane anything that's too thin or less than a foot long. You really don't want to be running short stuff through a plane or it jams up and wings out back at you. So, wait till you see my planer. You're certainly going to covet that, but let's plane this piece of blue Mahoey down to the right thickness so these tuners don't become of the part of the plane of thin you'll win. Leave it thick, lose your equation, rhyme, rap, whatever. Okay, we are ready to show you the AFTA. So we've got our template. It fit on the Texas junk pile. Now we know that this guitar has been through living hell on earth, that it is held up, the neck is not broken off, and the headstock is not separated from the neck. So we can expect the same performance out of this blue Mahoey wood, which started off this thick. Now it's like this. So we're simply going to put our headstock pattern on here. And we're going to make a, a mark with the KP election pencil right about there. That's going to give us enough to do two. And then we're going to take our square, make a mark, and we're going to run this through our scarf joint template and cut our 15 degree angle. I will get that done and I will see you for the close of this episode. All right, we are done and it's kind of funny how this little piece of wood in a couple of minutes can save you a lot of time and grief later when you start off with the right headstock thickness you don't have to worry about your tuners being turtle heading <laughs> yeah okay so now we're going to take our headstock we're going to cut it out on a bandsaw and we are going to place it on a neck board with did I give you a link to the scarf joint jig episode yeah there's a lot of hits on that one you can build the jig to make these and this in a few minutes and you end up with this. Hey, if I get enough cards, I'll give you a link to the playlist called Templates. You're going to like that one. Anyway, the next step in Wayne's license plate guitar is not to drop any more stuff on the floor, but get this neck together and fit it to the box and then we are going to show you how to round over and take this from square to rounded just like the back of a typical guitar this not being a typical guitar anyway 
thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, do that and give me a like. Email me your comments on something you'd like to see, and I will see you guys soon.